Hello and welcome to another episode of The Raps Drinking with the Stars. I'm Jeff Ornettadog and I'm joined at Mixology in Los Angeles with the stars of Lifetime's unauthorized Saved by the Bell story. Introduce yourselves and tell me who you're playing. Uh, my name is Julian Works. I'm playing Mario Lopez slash AC Slater. I'm Tara Scobie and I'm playing Elizabeth Berkeley slash Jesse Spano. And I'm Dylan Everett and I'm playing Mark Paul Gossler slash Zach Morris. Awesome. Now, which one of you hate each other already? <laughs> well, I, can't stand I this hate dude this right guy. Here. I can't yeah. his face. No. I knew it's, him before this movie, and I was like, yeah. oh, God. She was predisposed yeah. to hate me. So, yeah. I think we all hate each other. It's like yeah. a, yeah. I, hate, I hate kind of thing. Yeah. I should know that this is because we're all underage. We're all drinking <laughs> totally like alcohol free drinks. Right. So that's the, you know. <laughs> My mom wouldn't let me drink anything else. <laughs> so I definitely wanted to ask you guys about the about playing roles of people who are so well known. Have the Saved by the Bell fans been kind to you, or like how have they kind of reacted? There's been sort of a mixed response. Yeah, which was sort of what we kind of you expected. Know, you know, it was really yeah. you know diehard fans who you know they love Saved by the Bell and the way it is, and they expect to see you know their favorite actors portray their favorite characters. And so I, there's a bit of a stigma there. I think but. a lot of people also don't realize that this is like what happened behind the scenes and so some people try and think that we're trying to recreate yeah. the show. I think that, like, that was the main thing. That. Yeah, yeah. That, I think that was the like, main thing. People are like, you can't ruin yeah. my child. <laughs> like, we're not trying to. Yeah. We're giving you an insight of like, yeah, exactly. what happened. We're pitching you a story. Yeah. That's yeah. what it but is. But we've also yeah. got so much love too. So many yeah. people are excited to watch it and Definitely. tune in and that that's great. So. Now, Lifetime has been teasing us with these little short <laughs> previews of the movie. So I want more, I want more well, What did spoilers. you think of the clip? Did, what did you I think? Just, I think they're funny. I think you guys are like really cute together. I think you guys are like, I don't know. And I don't know, I don't know the actors beyond what I saw on TV by Three Saved by the Bell. So, right, right. you know, I, I can just believe it. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to ask each of you, um, maybe what, what, was, what was like the most, I don't know, but funny, most fun scene in your character that you played? Uh, well, as far as like the fun scene, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily call it the most uh, fun, but the most memorable scene that I had to do is uh, Mario, he's dressed up in a green leotard. It's like a real attack. <laughs> yes! Yeah. So, Keeping it uh, real. I mean, that, that was something definitely to remember shooting the movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, not to give any spoilers away, but my favorite scene was a very iconic scene, and it was a blast because it's oh, yeah, it something was. that's yeah. so <laughs> you don't say by the bell you know the scene and yeah. so for me being able to do that scene and recreate it was so much fun you know all the fans that are watching their mind just went <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Good. And you? for me man i think my favorite scene was probably the one where i got to ride the dirt bike oh sorry that one was I, nice. I got to sit on the dirt bike uh -huh. so i had like a stunt double and he was ripping around making me look all sweet <laughs> and then yeah so then you know the shot where i take off my helmet and i'm sitting there on the bike and i looked all cool and stuff so i'd say that one Oh, I heard you fell off the bike though. I did, I dropped hit. the bike. I yeah. fell, yeah, I, I let go of the bike because I'm not, I'm clearly not very big. And the bike's <laughs> twice the size of me. So I, I was sitting the behind him on the bike. He was that's on the, the bike. Scene, though, so you dropped both of us. Appreciate yeah, yeah. That. That's where we first started. That's where, yeah, that's where, yeah, that's where it started to other. split yeah, exactly. right there, right? <laughs> now for the two of you, you, you're, you're the actors that portray the characters you're portraying. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? We're, play, we're playing somebody. <laughs> we're playing somebody. I'm playing so. the dude disguised as another dude. <laughs> like Mario Lopez is on TV every day. Right, so right. you think it was easier for you to play him because you kind of see him today, and he's you still see his mannerisms and. Uh, I mean, easier. I wouldn't necessarily say easier, but it was definitely uh, had more access into uh, how to carry the mannerisms that she approached. You know, within you know during the scenes of the TV show. Um, but I, I mean, I guess that's about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you met him? Not yet. Not yet. No, I haven't. Um, hopefully, I, I do coming. soon. Yeah. And how? Are you, I mean, uh, Mark Pargosler is on Franklin and Bass right now. Sure is. Um, have <laughs> you ever met him? Do you, did that make it easier for you to? Never play? met him. Never met him. Which, uh, which you know, which kind of sucked. I mean, ideally, we would have all liked to meet the, yeah. the actors and actresses beforehand, but it didn't work out like that. So. Uh, no, I've never met him. Still would like to, uh, and like I'm a big Breck and Meyer fan. So you know, I flipped on Franklin and Bash. I was like, oh hey, there's Mark Paul. Like that's so cool. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, you know, one day we'll see. So to clarify, there's a there's a misconception out there that the movie is based on the autobiography by Dustin Diamond who played Screech, but that's not true, right? The movie is based no. off of past cast interviews and behind the scenes footage. Yeah. Yeah. Independently sourced from the book. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. 
Great. Well, thank you so much, guys. Tell the fans when they can catch the movie. September 1st, Labor Day, Lifetime. Tune in. Be ready. Watch it, and we hope you enjoy it as much yeah. as we did. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Thank you.